Queuing theory is the mathematical study of waiting lines, or queues. In queuing theory a model is constructed so that queue lengths and waiting times can be predicted. Queuing theory is generally considered a branch of operations research because the results are often used when making business decisions about the resources needed to provide a service. Queuing theory has its origins in research by Agna Kraropilan when he created models to describe the Copenhagen telephone exchange. The ideas have since seen applications including telecommunication, traffic engineering, computing and the design of factories, shops, offices and hospitals. Etymology, the word Q comes, via French, from the Latin corda, meaning tail. The spelling queuing over queuing is typically encountered in the academic research field. One of the flagship journals of the research area is named Queuing Systems. Single queuing nodes, single queuing nodes are usually described using Kendall's notation in the form AC where A describes the time between arrivals to the queue the size of jobs and see the number of servers at the node. Many theorems in queue theory can be proved by reducing queues to mathematical systems known as Markov chains, first described by Andrei Markov in his 1906 paper. Agne Kraropilang, a Danish engineer who worked for the Copenhagen Telephone Exchange, published the first paper on what would now be called queuing theory in 1909. He modeled the number of telephone calls arriving at an exchange by a Poisson process and solved the M1Q in 1917 and MK queuing model in 1920. In Kendall's notation, M stands for Markov or memoryless and means arrivals occur according to a Poisson process, D stands for deterministic and means jobs arriving at the queue require a fixed amount of service, K describes the number of servers at the queuing node. If there are more jobs at the node than there are servers then jobs will queue and wait for service. The M1Q is a simple model where a single server serves jobs that arrive according to a Poisson process and have exponentially distributed service requirements. In an M1Q the G stands for general and indicates an arbitrary probability distribution. The M1 model was solved by Felix Polakok in 1930 a solution later recast in probabilistic terms by Alexand Kinshin and now known as the Polacheka euro kinshin formula. After World War II queuing theory became an area of research interest to mathematicians. Work on queuing theory used in modern packet switching networks was performed in the early 1960s by Leonard Kleinrock. It was in this period that John Little gave a proof of the formula which now bears his name, Little's Law. In 1961 John Kingman gave a formula for the mean waiting time in a G1Q, Kingman's formula. The matrix geometric method and matrix analytic methods have allowed queues with phase type distributed inter-arrival and service time distributions to be considered. Problems such as performance metrics for the MKQ remain an open problem. Service disciplines, various scheduling policies can be used at queuing nodes, first in first outer, this principle states that customers are served one at a time and that the customer that has been waiting the longest is served first. Last in first outer, this principle also serves customers one at a time, however the customer with the shortest waiting time will be served first. Also known as a stack. Processor sharing a, service capacity is shared equally between customers. Priority a, customers with high priority are served first. Priority queues can be of two types, non-preemptive and preemptive. No work is lost in either model. Shortest job firster, the next job to be served is the one with the smallest size, preemptive shortest job firster, the next job to be served is the one with the original smallest size, shortest remaining processing to mere, the next job to serve is the one with the smallest remaining processing requirement. Queuing networks Networks of queues are systems in which a number of queues are connected by customer routing. When a customer is serviced at one node it can join another node in queue for service, or leave the network. For a network of M the state of the system can be described by an ma euro dimensional vector where xi represents the number of customers at each node. The first significant results in this area were Jackson networks for which an efficient product forms stationary distribution exists and the mean value analysis which allows average metrics such as throughput and sojourn times to be computed. 
if the total number of customers in the network remains constant the network is called a closed network and has also been shown to have a producta euro form stationary distribution in the Gordona euro renewal theorem. This result was extended to the BCMP network where a network with very general service time, regimes and customer routing is shown to also exhibit a product form stationary distribution. Networks of customers have also been investigated, Kelly networks where customers of different classes experience different priority levels at different service nodes. Another type of network are G networks first proposed by Aral Gilan B in 1993, these networks do not assume exponential time distributions like the classic Jackson network. Routing algorithms, in discrete time networks where there is a constraint on which service nodes can be active at any time. The max weight scheduling algorithm chooses a service policy to give optimal throughput in the case that each job visits only a single service node. In the more general case where jobs can visit more than one node, back pressure routing gives optimal throughput. A network scheduler must choose a queuing algorithm, which affects the characteristics of the larger network. Mean field limits Mean field models consider the limiting behavior of the empirical measure as the number of queues goes to infinity. The impact of other queues on any given queue in the network is approximated by a differential equation. The deterministic model converges to the same stationary distribution as the original model. Fluid limits. Fluid models are continuous deterministic analogs of queuing networks obtained by taking the limit when the process is scaled in time and space, allowing heterogeneous objects. This scale trajectory converges to a deterministic equation which allows a stability of the system to be proven. It is known that a queuing network can be stable, but have an unstable fluid limit. Heavy traffic diffusion approximations In a system with high occupancy rates a heavy traffic approximation can be used to approximate the queuing length process by a reflected Brownian motion, Ornstein a euro Ullenbeck process or more general diffusion process. The number of dimensions of the RBM is equal to the number of queuing nodes and the diffusion is restricted to the non-negative orthant. Software for simulation analysis, Java modeling tools, a GPL suite of queuing theory tools written in Java, queuing package for GNU Octave, see also, Airy Invest model, Elang unit, industrial engineering, network simulation, queue area, queuing delay, random early detection, renewal theory, throughput, traffic jam, traffic generation model, references. Further reading, Gross, Donald. Carl M. Harris. Fundamentals of Queuing Theory. Wiley. ISBN A0-471-32812 Exa, Deitl, Harvey M. 1982. An Introduction to Operating Systems. Addison Wesley. PA 673. ISBN A 0-201-14502-2 a chap 15, PPA 380 a Euro 412, Lazowska, Edward D. John Zahorjan. G. Scott Graham. Kenneth C. Sevick. Quantitative System Performance, Computer System Analysis Using Queuing Network Models. Prentice Hall, Inc. ISBN A 0 13 746975 6. Zuckerman, Moshe. Introduction to Queuing Theory and Stochastic Teletrophic Models. A. External links. Queuing Theory Calculator. Tenomo's Queuing Theory Tutorial and Calculators. Bertamo's Queuing Theory Course. Myron Linker's Queuing Theory Page. Queuing Theory Basics. A free online tool to solve some classical queuing systems.